a Nigerian prince. Did you hear about this? Rented yeah. out an entire New York City restaurant for his first date with his now wife, who had no idea he was a royal. Oh, I love that. This is a movie. This, yeah, <laughs> this really is really. I mean, there's been a America. lot of movies just like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> the Prince of Nigeria rented out an entire restaurant, filled it with rose petals for the first date with his now wife, Princess Kesha. Uh, apparently, she had no idea he was a prince. She found out two years later when she met his his uh, mom, and now they're been together for fourteen years. But, when but they, she knew he had money. When you walk into a first date and the guy's rented the restaurant and there's flowers everywhere, you're like, this guy's not poor. Right. Well, he's the prince of Nigeria. You know how much money he owes me? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's that Nigerian prince. He's that one? <laughs> he's that one. He owes me at least 15 million bucks. So That's where all that money came from for those flowers. Exactly. So he, but when I read this, I'm like, this is coming to America in yeah. New York. And she had no idea. But yeah, when you walk into a restaurant and it's empty and there's roses everywhere, you go, wait a minute. What do you do for a living? You're not a goat herder. <laughs> no, I doubt he said that. Well, that's what they said in coming to America. I know. I know. But I wonder what he told her he did for a living. Probably like hedge fund or something something that would make sense that he would have some money uh do you have a, a bunch of money when you can do when you can rent out a whole restaurant in new york in new york city yeah, yeah for you, sure you're not a hedge fund guy you're a little bit more than that no no hedge fund guys do that stuff all the time mm. that's that's like a typical hedge fund move in fact mm-hmm. but yeah you know, so that's how he knows that she fell in love with him for real that she didn't fall in love with him but here's the thing 14 years ago we still had google so how do you not meet a guy and google him immediately wouldn't you do that if you're in the dating scene now Would you- i did that I, are you kidding i've googled everybody i've ever i've ever been with so before I mean, you since, went yeah, yeah since since the invention of google yeah so you would google him know everything about him before he picked you up are you kidding when before i got married well before i met okay so i was at a party where i met my ex-husband and I liked him immediately. Like we had a major connection that first night. Um, but the next morning I got right on Google and I was like, who is this? And he had a website. I, his, and it linked to his father. I, I got to, I mean, I knew everything. By the time we went on a second date, I knew everything about this guy. But it could have been a different guy because he's got a, a name. That's a lot of people's names. No, his picture was on there. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was, it was his website. So it had his picture too. It wasn't, it wasn't like I just Googled him and read articles. Uh, Cause you would, <laughs> you would be like, I didn't know he played football for the Cowboys. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't that's look funny. like a football cowboy player yeah, because there's somebody on a Cowboys named Sean Lee. Yeah. But that is kind of romantic. I think the fact that it's a nice surprise, like you fall in love with somebody and the bonus is you find out they're a real prince. But I think but Nigerian prince is hilarious because that almost <laughs> seems like it's a it seems like it's a prank. Yeah. You mean you know how many times you've emailed me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when she got on Google, she typed in Nigerian prince. And- <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and every meme came up. Right. So she's like, well, this guy can't be a prince. He's got to be a hedge fund guy. Right. I'm dating a meme. No, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I knew I knew that email address. Wow. <laughs> knew it. Yeah. So how come the story's coming out 14 years later? I have no idea. Slow she news just- day. Oh, okay. I should try to tell the story. Well, okay. Talking about slow news days, did you see the audio I sent you? Sorry, my window is wide open. So you're going to be hearing like all the traffic. What's going on out there? In New York. Just, you know, it's your usual New York City traffic. Traffic and, um, yeah, drive time. So a pilot got caught on hot mic. Okay. So what he was like, we're closing over. Oh, no. uh, look over to your left, and then oh, he no. didn't, and then he didn't oh, turn no. the mic off. That's not what happened. So yeah, it wasn't a hot mic. So it wasn't that he was talking on you know out to everybody on the plane. He wasn't going. And if you look to your left, <sighs> you're gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming in for a landing no it wasn't that kind of, he's not talking to the people on the plane mm-hmm. he's he's talking to air traffic control 
Okay. Um, and I guess he was going from, he was flying around California and he was coming from, I guess, San Diego. And at this point he's flying over San Francisco and he didn't realize the mic was on and they record all that stuff. So it was recorded. So now initially it was the recording came out and nobody knew like, is this an actual, is this real? So yes, it's real. And from what the articles are saying, it was a Southwest flight. It was a pilot on Southwest, and this is them flying over San Francisco. Here's what the guy says. 21.3 is ready to go. Yeah, fuck boy. God, liberal fuck. Throw like eight guns out here somewhere. That's it. Fuck weirdos. <laughs> Probably driving around that fuck on days. Fuck. Fuck. Lower shit. I go for slow as fuck. <laughs> and last calling on tower, that's uh one two four one zero hot mic. If you don't have balls unless you're full of coal, man. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're rolling coal. What's he got against Hyundai, by the uh, way? Is- damn it. Well he drives a diesel, that's why he said rolling coal. No, I know, but is is Hyundai a liberal car? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, so he thought that he wasn't. Um, he thought that he was just having a conversation with the other with the co-pilot. Tower, right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, freezer right, South West Thirty One. <laughs> so now he figures out that people are listening. Yep. And he snaps up real quick. Yep. Suddenly gets very <laughs> professional very quickly. I love that he's flying over San Francisco and he's like, "F those libertards." <laughs> Park, <laughs> Look at how oh my lord! Days. I bet they have Pete Priuses. <laughs> Drive trucks. <laughs> wow. Yeah, isn't that amazing? I mean, it's shocking. It's it's like, but I mean, look, I I think I believe that there's people out there that have these sorts of private conversations with each other on both sides. You know, we, people liberals probably talk about Republicans and. Obviously, but not with a mic strapped to your head. Well, that's the thing. I think you got to be cautious about where you say those kinds of things. But here's the thing. So now he so he flies for Southwest. So when he lands in San Francisco, I don't know. Is this the kind of so let me ask you, should he be fired? Should he be reprimanded? Is it the kind of thing where I mean, could he still do his job? I mean, I know people get very offended now and they want everybody canceled and everybody fired. I understand right. that. I'm I'm for free speech. I don't agree with anything he said. I don't I think it's sort of borders on hate speech, but if that's how he feels, now we know. Now we know who he is. I think it's different if you say that stuff and you work at a regular job mm-hmm. and you say that stuff in the warehouse. But when you're flying a plane, that falls into FAA territory, and okay. they don't put up with anything. I mean, okay. it's like the FCC. They're, they're the FCC on steroids. Right. So they'll pull your license for anything. So, okay, yeah, so this he, is not about free speech, because no. this, this wasn't free speech. This was him on FAA air. Yeah, he did that with the mic open. He's fired. He ain't never flying again. Well, even though, are you stupid enough to not know when your mic is open or not? That's the other thing. You yeah. don't know how the mic works. If you don't know how the mic works, I'm uh, a little nervous about you landing. You know, up there flying is easy. It's the landing and the taking off. That's that's the hard stuff. 